Now, I want to ask you something about the 14th Amendment, and if both of you could respond to it. Um, it's simple. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the law. <coughs> Is a woman included within that definition? Yeah. A woman's a person. I think that's well established. Yeah, the, 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 the issue is not whether a woman's a person. The, the, issue you know is what, going. the issue is what constitutes equal protection. Yes, all right. <laughs> Are women included? Yeah. Of, of course yeah. they're included. Yeah. Well, let me ask you. But uh, does equal protection mean that, that you have to have unisex toilets? I mean, that, no, no, that's the, that's no, the kind no. of question you, you have to get into. This is your quote, uh, Mr. Justice, uh, in uh, California. Certainly, the Constitution does not require discrimination on the basis of sex. The only issue is whether it prohibits it. It doesn't. Nobody ever thought that's what it meant. Nobody ever voted for that. If the current society wants to outlaw discrimination by sex, hey, we have things called legislatures, and they enact things called laws. So why doesn't the 14th Amendment then cover women? The, the 14th Amendment, Senator, does, does not apply to private discrimination. It apply, I was speaking of Title VII and, and laws that prohibit private discrimination. The 14th Amendment says nothing about private discrimination, only discrimination by government. Yes. So, oh, I see. I see what you meant. Yeah. I, okay. All right. Uh, if I can... Uh, let, let's go to...